Hello students in our previous program we learned about the evolutions of reprography today we will look at movable metal and types to digital imaging which will enhance your knowledge of graphic designs so let's begin do you know students that the first printing machine came into existence during the renaissance period till then the books were written by hand and each one was decorated and illustrated individually as it has already been discussed in the previous chapters with the advent of a lithographic press things became a little easy but still the text was written by hand either directly onto the sensitized stone or on the gum coated transfer paper writing with hand was a tedious process when the letter press machine was invented reproduction became easier there were individual matrices cast out of lead or wood cut blocks of individual letters which were arranged and fixed in a temporary frame known as the format after the printing was over the format was again removed and the type went back to the compositor tray after a thorough cleaning this could be reused until the shapes of type are deformed or damaged in case a picture or an illustration was to be inserted a block for the same was also required which was either a half tone block or a line block the reusability of the type and the blocks was one major advantage of this type of printing and above all it was quite compact and fast as compared to the lithographic press the invention of printing from movable metal type is credited to johann gothenburg of mainz in 1450 gothenburg invented a method of creating type which can be transported moved and used for number of printings the new invention made possible the production of a book just in a matter of days in contrast to the years of labor put in by scribes and illuminators this new technique suggested a set of conventions and method already established for many generations gutenberg invented the method of casting of individual metal types for each character of the alphabet a punch or die was cut in the shape of a type character this was stamped into soft metal to create a mold into which molten lead could be poured to cast the piece of type in a matter of seconds a printer could rapidly compose type to form words lines and pages of books and by using the newly developed screw press could take a hundred impressions in spite of the starting innovation of this method gutenberg at first kept the process a secret his printed works mainly bibles were produced as blunt imitations of the manuscript books the body of the printed text matter and the design of his type closely followed the handwritten words of the illuminators which required very close examination to identify a page as printed the invention of gutenberg introduced many new terminologies in reproduction techniques let's talk about letter form what is letter form when the signs and symbols which constitute the means of communication known as writing are painted or engraved on a wood or stone with mechanical devices then they are called letter forms what is type font then type font is a set of letters having some common elements resulting in a distinctive style of lettering and is used to compose linguistic text a standardized digital version of a type font is usually designed 
by a type design and released or marketed by a type casting developing firm. The terms type font and a typeface represent a common concept of prefabricated lettering styles. After type font, let's see what's typeface. The difference in type font and typeface is technological in nature. In the early days of hot metal technology, an image of a letter form had to be transferred onto the top face of a rectangular metal piece called a type, hence term the type face. What is art lettering? Let's talk about it. The difference between art lettering and a type face can be at two levels. Art lettering is constructed by lettering artists for a given purpose and for single use in short headline. It is not permanently documented lettering style. Whereas, a typeface is a design activity of a permanent nature and can be used for various purposes. A variety of documents can be created using typefaces. I guess all of you must have heard the word calligraphy. I will tell you what is technically means calligraphy. Calligraphy is an artistic handwriting as an art. The expressive and aesthetic visual qualities can be associated with calligraphic lettering as compared to hand-drawn lettering. Calligraphic letters as usually the authentic outcome of writing tools and the sensitivity of a calligrapher. Once manifested, calligraphy cannot be or should not be retouched or modified. What is typography? The art of printing with movable types is described as typography. Typography is a discipline. It is the art and science of laying out the text as per the requirement of the content or the theme. Various typefaces are used in a printed document to create the required effects through typographic design. Typography will make use of prefabricated typefaces or fonts. Next is type design. What is it? Type design is a discipline which deals with planning, designing, executing and testing letter forms for a given purpose in a required script. Type design activity requires sensitivity towards aesthetics of letter forms as well as knowledge of typeface production technology. A type designer is a professional responsible for type designs. Who is a typographer? A typographer uses his understanding about typefaces and technology of text composing. He is the person responsible for designing the text. Who is a calligrapher? A calligrapher, through his or her commitment to the aesthetics of letter forms, spontaneously draws or paints letters, words, sentences and or statements with maximum expressive quality using appropriate writing tools and writing surfaces. In the process, each work produced by a calligrapher is unique work of art. Students, do you know the importance of type? Without a type font, no printed text will ever exist. The effectiveness of written communication will depend upon the visual qualities of a written text. The proper use of type fonts and effective typography would result in an effective piece of written communication in any language, in any script, anywhere and anytime.